Okay, thank you. It's only only one case. I open. Um, this. Okay. It's a thrombosis of deep venous system. It's a case of one young patient. And um, the treatment is endovascular recanalization. It's a female, a 23 year old a student in Madrid. She's from Venezuela, Venezuela. I stay 24 hours before, only the symptom is the headaches. And some, some dissolved it. They are very disordered, but not, not important. He come, she come to the hospital and rapid deterioration and assisted breathing and intubated and Glasgow five in about uh, three, two hours. <coughs> the emergency CT scanner at one o'clock, not, uh, I don't have a subarachnoid hemorrhage, only, only some uh, high density in the internal uh, internal cerebral vein, but this is secondary lecture, it's not in the initial lecture. I repeat the scanner five o'clock in the in the morning, some hypodensity and also one magnetic resonance MR magnetic resonance and uh, I see you the image and the evolution. This is the first scan and one o'clock in the morning. The only change is the spontaneous high density of the both internal cerebral vein. Four o'clock, repeat the CT scanner, some hypodensity in mesencephalo and dilatation of the temporal ventricle horns. Temporal ventricle? Temporal horns. I also some dilatation of the of the of the ventricle and hypodensity. The CT angio scan in sagittal view look a fault of replacement of the contrast in the straight sinus. Hyperdensity of the internal cerebral vein. The longitudinal sinus is still open. The inferior longitudinal sinus, I think is here a little bit. Now the most important is this, is the thrombus in the straight sinus. Also the, in, in the afternoon, just before they perform the angio, I decide to put the patient in the magnetic resonance, 12 hours after the symptom, and you see the hyper signal in, in Talamo, bilateral, some change. You are also in the corpus callosum, in the caudato. Uh, hyperfusion, MR, you are hyper in Pastero thalamic and both thalamus. Only this change. Another sequence in hyperfusion, the same similar change. Angiography is performed two o'clock in the afternoon. 
and in the late phase of the vertebral, the only change, you see very good circulation, but not see the straight sinus, only the longitudinal sinus. In the left and right carotid, you see the longitudinal sinus, but don't see the straight sinus and the internal cerebral vein. The right, left carotid and right, the, the same morphology. In the arterial study, look, some embol, distal embol, but this is not the origin of the clinical symptom. I decided to perform the study of the vein and I looked some change in the lateral sinus, thrombus, also in the straight sinus and the internal cerebral tenia and the basilar, basilar, rosenthal origin. And in this position, I decide to prefer heparin, reopro, and remove with the uh, with the stem retriever maximum quantity of the embol or the thrombus. This is a road mapping to the difficulty to navigate in the straight sinus is still close, which is the gate wire, a loop to go in here. I remove the, some clot. Also the micro catheter going in this part and also in this part are to perform, perform the perfusion with heparin and liquid serum because I prefer to, to perform the high flow and to, to stop the reobliteration. Half an hour later, the embolic arterial compartment is still, but three, 45 minutes later, a spontaneous thrombosis of the middle cerebral artery. I decide this is the, the time, and this is the time before and later. And don't touch this territory. Only work with the venous approach, no with the arterial approach. This is a spontaneous progressive thrombosis of the middle cell artery. I cross the thrombosis, I remove the clot, and this is the control. Fifty minutes later, hmm? still some a small distal embol, the same of the initial angio. The same, totally reopen. This is before. This is the material with the arterial and venous approach. This is the clot, some clot, this is example. And this is the control angio. The patient have a good brain circulation. I don't have change in the brain circulation. I don't see in this time the straight sinus, only the 
ischemia, distal ischemia of the beginning, the same of the beginning angel. Let phase five o'clock in the afternoon. I stop in this moment. And the control CT scanner, uh, one day later, all this chemia and edema, both oval. Hmm? MR, you have some change, diffuse change in the oval center and the old ischemia. Reconstruction, one week later with MR, you are totally reopen the deep venous system. No more edema. What is the evolution? Police improvement, extubation of one week, stay with the mid and dysphasia, and memory disorder and rehabilitation, several months, and the patient come back to their country, and now still well. Thank you for your attention. Okay, okay, Lewis. Um, Lewis, thank you very much. Um, uh, any comments or questions from the panelists? Looks like Dr. Bai, you look like you are full of questions. Dr. Bai, go ahead. Yeah, Dr. Bai, I think has a question. Go ahead, Dr. Bai, uh, unmute. Okay. 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 Yeah, I, I, yes. Thank you for uh, extreme cases. Extreme case. Um, so uh, anyway, it says the patient got a, a, a relative uh, good recovery. So what about the, uh, what about the etiology of the uh, venous thrombosis together with the uh, arterial embolism? This is one question. Uh, another one is, do you think your Strom strombectomy with a standard retriever works or anticoagulation treatment works because you the follow up you 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 show uh, uh, the uh, complete uh, patency of the bilateral internal cerebral vein and the street sinus so why <laughs> yes you. yes to to remove the, the the second question to remove the clot in the thrombus, I use uh, both techniques, both uh, the aspiration, uh, stent retriever, and move turn, whatever you want, and also uh, fibrinolytic, and the most important is the flu flux with serum with heparin to have a high flow. I have experience with the thrombosis of the longitudinal sinus. And the most important every time is you put the patient with heparinization because it's possible to remove, but sometimes you are the red thrombosis. And this patient, the origin, I don't know, because probably the anticonceptive, because the patient have arterial and venous thrombus. Mm -hmm. It's generated. It's young patient. A woman don't other pathology, only this. I think it's only this, the common. Does the patient that has um, atrial fibrillation? Atrial fibrillation? No, 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 no. Nothing, nothing. 
that uh, oral contraceptives might be Contra the cause. Oral contraceptive. Yeah, might be the cause. In Nepal, we saw rather many of these cases. So uh, no, that kind of treatment was done. But I think this is this is very good idea to treat these cases acutely because they have severe symptoms. Even can die. They can even die. Yes, is, this is this a, this is a, the, the, it's a very important the diagnosis in acute phase. Because if you don't touch the patient, the patient dead. The, the, yeah. the, the most important is the, the, the CT scanner, you are high, high density of the vein, internal cellular vein. And the, this is the origin to everybody going, I probably maybe have this problem. Okay, probably, probably. But in, in, in India, I have many experience of the uh, thrombosis, venous thrombosis. I have many, many, many cases. And the most important when I discuss with the neurosurgeon or neurologist from India is the diagnosis. You diagnose it and then you treat the patient with one way, one other, one other way. So what, what about the uh, indication of uh, um, thrombectomy, me mechanical thrombectomy? or just a conservative anticoagulation treatment. So, so yes. what, what's your indication? For me, it's limited indication. I think it's more, more, um, more feasible and more, more important the medical medication because the thrombectomy is very nice picture, but sometimes you are the retrombosis, the retrombosis of the, of the and this, I think, is is depend is selective selective case. No, mm -hmm. no, everybody. And is the the last uh, alternative therapeutic. Do you prefer trans microcaster thrombolysis than mechanical thrombectomy, or as are the same? It's the same because the catheter is the same. You have a five French catheter, and then you put inside the catheter the aspiration or, or mechanical thrombectomy or infusion, whatever you want. It's not, it's, it's possible to change one time this, a second. At, at the beginning, uh, 30, 30 years ago, when I work in Paris, I work with one neuro, neurologist, various expertise in venous thrombosis. It's, the name is Marie Germain Busser from La Riboisier. And uh, in this period, treated the patient by infusion of the carotid artery with heparin, bilateral. Only this. Mm -hmm. No venous, no arterial infusion do, uh, during some hours to have more flow and low viscosity in the anastomosis with the arterial. Okay, this is all theory, but I think it's not. Sometimes it's interesting to know this this, this hypothesis. The, the important is the flow in the vein, not only the clot, it's flow. I, I, I respect your experience. Um, however, according to the, uh, uh, the recent clinical trial, the uh, aggressive intervention, including mechanical thrombectomy, uh, super selective thrombolysis um, doesn't reveal, doesn't show priority to conservative treatment. I mean, anticoagulation. The, the priority is the, the, the clinical situation before the symptom. Also, the CUR, the ischemia, visible ischemia in the CT scanner. Hypodensity is not possible 
fibrinolysis because you are the malignant, malignant, uh, rebleeding, the infection, infection. Is, you are a high risk. And some have changed in the in the in the parenchyma. You are possibility to 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 risk to treat it with the mechanical or fibrinolysis, whatever you want. For me, the same. It's my my opinion. Eh? Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. Any more selective comments? case? Okay, any more closing comments or questions about anything today? <clears throat> okay, very good. Thank you very much, uh, Yuha and the team, Lewis, Dr. Bai, Dr. Andrade, uh, Manuel. Uh, so, uh, uh, Yuha, do you have any ideas on what the topic for next week? Yeah, we will continue. Uh, I will speak about carotid bifurcation aneurysms, carotid bifurcation aneurysms, and then uh, uh, sub in some subject on fiber surgery. And of course, we now take Henan Provincial People's Hospital and Vasquez excellent end of us class they have a topic which one i don't know yet but we will discuss this week so we go forward that way okay we'll let people know as soon as we know okay thanks everybody yeah, yeah. and we'll see you next week bye-bye yeah. thank, thank you, you very much. thank you very much bye-bye